Hey, hey, everybody, Nikki here with Black Dog Vintage and Antiques coming at you with another static drop sale. So this time I'm going to be doing uh, Mexican pottery. It is part two of my Tanala Hala. For those of you who don't know, I have just started doing lives on the What's Not app. And I will link down below here the link to my page. So if you use that link to sign up for What's Not app, you will get $10 off. $10 off your first order on the What's Not app. What's great about that is they combine shipping for you. They make it really easy, verified for both seller and buyer. And if you have any questions about the What's Not app, please feel free to uh, hit me up. Send me a question. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Just understand it is still a new selling platform app for me as well. And a big shout out and thank you to everybody who did show up for my What's Not first live sale. It was great. I really, really appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's holla some Tanala. All right, first up here, I have a set of salt and pepper shakers in the blue and white vein. They have the regular motif of the birds on one side and the botanicals on the other. Now one of them, I think it's this one here. Yeah, it's this one here. Go the right way, Nick. There you go. The salt and pepper, there's some paint loss up in there at the salt and pepper realm. It is signed Mexico and I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark say that says VG. I think it says VG. They both do have their corks. Stay in frame. There we go. They both do have their corks. The salt and pepper holes, like I said, one has just got a little bit more paint loss than the other. So they are four inches tall. And if you are interested in adding these to your collection, they're going to be $8, number 15. Next up, I have a set of four. That's right. One, two, three three, four, four mugs. Once again, we have the bird and floral motif as is usual on these. This is a nice handle too, because you get a nice three fingers in there. Very generous serving size. I would guess that to be about eight, 10 ounces maybe. They are signed Tanala. So these are real Tanala, Tanala, Mexico. One of them on the top, let me find it, here it is. This one right here on the top does have some rough spots where the glaze is kind of chipped away. Um, it's not really on the drinking side because it's very close to the uh, handle there of the mug. The other side of it is all in very good condition. The rest of them are in fabulous condition, darling. Fabulous. Fabuloso. So, if you're interested in my bird and butterfly. See, look at, was only one of them has a butterfly? Huh, look at that, only one of them has a butterfly. That's interesting. So he's the odd man out there. So if you're interested in the Tanala mugs, blue and white, well, they're not really white, it's more of a grayish color. They're gonna be $16, number three. Sticking with the blue and white theme, these are made by the same artist who made the salt and pepper shakers, Mr. VJ himself, or Miss VJ herself. So I was thinking this would be a great utensil holder to match the salt and pepper shaker. So we have the florals all in the blue, and this is a little more in the grayish tones. We've got some grasses and the bird flying with the butterfly. So this guy stands height-wise here. Let's see, yeah. Handy dandy measure, about seven inches tall, right around seven inches, it's about three inches in diameter. It is glazed on the inside. Don't want to use it as a utensil holder. It'll make a beautiful vase with some pretty yellow wildflowers coming out of there. So if you're interested in this piece here, it will be $12, number five. And the last piece of the blue slash kind of white, I want to be white, but I'm really not white, Mexican pottery is this amazing pitcher. Now, this is a Mexican piece. It is does say Mexico, and it does have the bug symbol here of a butterfly. You'll notice that in a lot of them, especially the El Palomar, there will be a bug or a critter. Now, this just says Mexico, so I don't want to lead you down the wrong path there. 
I actually had this for a while and was using this to water my plants. It does have that 3D feel to it. Once again, we've got the birds and florals that go all the way around there. It is a very nice size pitcher. Great for margaritas. And this also is seven inches tall. It does hold a lot of water, which is handy. So if you're interested in this, it will be $15, number 10. That's not a rooster in a hen house. That's a hen in the hen house. So next up, I have this chicken. So my chicken from beak to tail feather there is about six inches. This is, in my opinion, an older piece. Please understand that it is my opinion. This right here is a little bit of sticker residue I didn't get off, I guess. But what I like about this piece here is it's got the orange flowers and it's got that, I'm gonna call it charcoal gray colors. So it's more charcoal gray with the taupe and the orange into the reds. So it's a really pretty piece, not super big, look really great in the kitchen, mixed in amongst maybe some house plants. That's what I really think Tanala and Mexican potter is great for, is to mix it in among terracottas and the greenery. So if you are interested in the chicken, do your chicken dance. It'll be $10, number eight. Up next, we have this interesting piece. This is a blue, white, and terracotta to the more in the coppery brown side. It is an ashtray. However, I think it would look amazing on a gallery wall or use it as an ashtray. You know, you do you. Really fun to let the kids look at that there. It is another really great example of the pottery that we all know and love. It's got the bird motif with the butterflies and the florals. And then when I lay it down like this, you can tell it was used as an ashtray. This is an El Palomar, Mexico. There's the little critter there that I was talking about. This to me looks like a La Cucaracha. And I hope, I hope that song isn't stuck in your head, and I'm sorry if it is. So <clears throat> this is a nine inch square piece. It does have a 3D texture to the piece of pottery. So if you're interested in this ashtray, it's gonna be $12. Number 14. Next up, I have another utilitarian piece. Granted, most of your Mexican pottery is figural pieces. Sometimes you do get lucky and you come across some more utilitarian pieces like the mugs and the pictures that I've already shown you. This piece is slightly different. This texture on the outside is a, uh, it's like, it feels like a sand castle. It is a sandstone. The lid has the great 3D paint job to it here. Nice and shiny glaze there and on the nub, but the rest of this, this bit's all unglazed. The underside is glazed. We have a nice little family photo here. Family photo op, maybe at sunset, maybe not. Goodness gracious, I'm so used to StreamYard. It is a Mexico piece. It is glazed on the inside. And the great thing is, if you're not necessarily thrilled with this side, you can spin it around and you still have a very interesting little piece. This is four inches roughly in diameter. And if you're interested in the trinket box, it's gonna be $10, number 12. I love this die. It's not often you find a toucan and it's definitely not often you find a Mexican pottery piece of toucan. So this is my little baby toucan guy. I love him because he gives us two expressions and I'll show you that in a minute. He's about six and a half inches from beak to tail feather. The back of him has the florals in shades of blue, green, brown, and a light, light, light yellow right up here on his neck. Now, if you look at his eye, this side, he's got a lovely little lash there. If I flip him around this way, no lashes. Lashes? No lashes. Maybe it's an eyebrow. What was the name of that toucan or the bird from The Lion King? That's who he kind of reminds me of with those different expressions, right? He's got a nice big black beak and he is signed on the bottom. Mexico RS. So if you're interested in the toucan, he is going to be $12, number seven.
This butte I call my tail feather. He is an actual piece of Tanala. He is marked on the bottom. I will show you that. He is very different in his painting scheme, which I really love. He's got this yellow like goldfinch almost on there, and the bird is actually super expressive and very well painted. And he's got leaves and berries, so the bird's actually been out feasting. And see, his tail feathers, I love him. He's all tail. He's got a green beak which i think is very very different that he has a green beak and bright bright blue eyes and then his little feathers on the top and the bottom there so he is this is a cat piece this is cat tanala mexico cat did work a lot with um ken edwards you'll see a lot of tanala and el palomar and cat was one of the prolific artisans of mexican pottery so if you're interested in my tail feather bird he's gonna be fifteen dollars number eleven this is my chunkiest piece it actually doesn't even really fit in the frame it is an 11 inch plate and it once again we have that sandstone sandcastle kind of feel to it and then the bits that are glazed have that 3d look and feel inside and out the uh, scroll work on the edges is done in this coppery brown shade that you can see has this really nice luster in the light. We've got bits of it in here too. We've got what looks like a rising peacock phoenix rising up out of the florals there. It is a super, super thick plate. You can see the thickness there of the plate. Can you imagine Taco Tuesday serving up some tacos on this? I think it'd be awesome. This is a Mexico piece. It does have what appears to be a hanger. Don't hang it like that. That would be my suggestion. Get a proper plate hanger because this guy is heavy. He's about at a little bit over a pound, I would say. So just be warned. And like I said, he's 11 inches and very hexagonal in shape. Would look fabulous on a gallery wall or use it as a proper plate. So if you're interested in my plate here, it's going to be $10, number 13. Okay, and my last piece here, I'm calling this my peacock pigeon. So you can see on the back here, we've got what look like kind of peacock eye feathers right here and here. But then we get this face, this face. I don't know, how many of you remember the Animaniacs cartoon, right? That's the, and then they used to have a uh, segment called The Good Feathers. That's what I think of when I look at this. It's one of the good feathers. He's got enormous eyes, a tiny, tiny beak. This is definitely an older piece. Sometimes you can tell the older pieces, the colors are a little bit more on the dull side. You know, you can tell they've been around. This is does say Mexico. So if you're interested in my peacock pigeon here, he's going to be $12, number six. And that's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that you hung out with me for this drop sale. I'm going to try to be doing one of these a week. My schedule has now kind of changed up a bit. So I'm starting a new show on Sundays at noon. We're going to be calling it Sunday Brunch. So come grab some pancakes, some waffles, a mimosa. Sit down with me for about an hour. Chill out and see what's up on offer. And there's going to be more coming in Sunday Brunch. I don't want to announce it all just now. I want to get it together. But in the beginning, that's pretty much all I'm going to give you. Think of it as a teaser. It's a teaser. And every Monday, I have Glass with Class with Claudia, 1 p.m. And we flip-flop channels. So please make sure you're subscribed to both of us. Uh, every Wednesday now at 3 p.m., I'm going to be over on the What's Not app having a live sale. It usually only lasts about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I try to not take up too much of your afternoon time. And just so you all know, it is not rewatchable. So you actually have to be present in the What's Not app to actually participate in the live sale. And I'll be doing some more drops as we go. The goal is to, you know, keep my three ish sales a week and add in a drop sale every now and again. So we thank you all for hanging out with me and until next time, stay swanky and stay classy.